Wow, major flashback. Three years ago, almost to the day, we were living out of the van. I got my warm jacket. I got the blankets. Is that it? I think we got it all. Today we are going on a backwoods road trip, a several night canoe trip on the lake. We're going to be spending all night on the lake recording the wilderness sounds and we're going to be doing some backwoods hiking. Join us on our adventure right here on Cabin Life. Welcome to our channel. If this is your first time visiting us, we're all about sharing our adventures, our goings on around our off-grid cabin and homestead and in the area. We enjoy campfire cooking, hiking, canoeing, backwoods adventures, chores around the cabin and homestead. And uh, we have lots of fun doing it too. So hit that subscribe button and uh, ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Yeah, so it was about three years ago to this very day that we had uh, sold our house, yeah. bought this very property, uh, but there was no buildings on it, there was no place to live, and we were we had all of our stuff in storage. Yep, and we chose to live out of our van while we were waiting for the new home. So it was a very minimalist lifestyle for about a month. Uh, living out of the van and uh, we've been uh, accustomed to that because we've been on lots of outdoor adventures uh, uh, camping in the woods uh, using the van uh, as well so we call it vamping so today we're going on our canoeing excursion hiking excursion and whatnot this is part of what cabin life is all about unfortunately Jake is going to be left behind because he may not be uh, so good in the canoe so we're going to play it safe Jake is in good hands. We're going to uh, miss him, but let's get on with our adventure. It's going to be lots of fun. In, in you go, my dear. Woohoo! adventure again. It's been a while. I've been looking forward to this. Vamping. Vamping. Exploring backwoods trails and logging roads gives us access to rugged wilderness that we'd otherwise have to hike to or even canoe to. So the drive actually shortens our travel time by days. And at our age, well, let's be realistic. There's a limit to uh, what loads that we want to put on our bodies. We are retired after all, so our van is our pack horse. And it's done a real good job for us as well. Yes, indeed. It's our modern day pack horse. It's taken us places uh, down back roads and logging trails. And uh, I must say, its days are numbered. In fact, this may be one of the last uh, backwoods logging trail trips that she makes with us. So the van has been good to us, that's for sure. And the secret lake we're going to is fairly secluded. It has limited access, and there's a few cabins on the lake, but it's um, fairly remote. 
and uh, there's a quite a bit of crown land around its shores. It's just a beautiful lake, fantastic for recording and paddling, fishing, and it's full of wildlife. Uh, we've recorded quite a bit of wildlife, quite a long list actually over the years. Uh, deer, moose, fox, bear, lynx, bobcat, beaver, wolves, loons, owls, herons, ducks, raccoons, martens, fishers, songbirds, frogs, there's turtles and the lake is full of all kinds of fish, bass, pike and perch. It's really special here because it's 40 miles from any pavement. There are no trains, no highway noise, so it's perfect for recording the wilderness. And if we told you the name of the lake, well, it just wouldn't be a secret anymore, would it? It is just a trail. It's a, it's not a bonafide road, but uh, it's uh, it's been graded. It's been looked after. So. Hey guys, well we're at the secret lake and uh, we made it just at the nick of time for sunset. We're going to be out on the lake here all night and uh, we're going to be recording. Hopefully we uh, record some loons and other wildlife as well. So we'll show you our loadout here, uh, but we want to get going real quick. So this is going to be a real quick one. These are our seats. They're foam seats, they do float, and they keep our, because we sit, they go on the floor, our body weight stays low as we uh, sit on the seat. The seats are good for uh, cushioning as well, for while we're camping. You got heavy bags like this. These, these uh, are only gonna get used once in a while, so I'm gonna stick it behind me in the stern.
And we do have our life jackets, our PFDs, personal qualification device. And we have towels. <laughs> These are just soak up the wet from our boots when we get in and out of the canoe. And we have a blanket that we put on us to keep the dew off. A couple other utensils as well. Sometimes it comes in handy. <laughs> At least for the, for the guys. All right. And our warmer coats, because even though it's a nice summer day, the evenings get chilly. We've got our bag of teapot, water, coffee cups, creamer, all that stuff. Making fixings for coffee. Okay, it's time to set up our recorder, and that is what uh, we refer to as our canoe mic, our canoe mic. So basically what we have is a mop pole, like a broomstick type of pole here, this blue thing, it's got a hole in the end of it, and we got some foam on, on here for cushioning and so forth. I actually attached an old fishing rod that I had, a fishing rod here, the handle, and I attached it onto this blue thing, duct taped and wired it. And then <laughs> I also have a piece of bamboo, which is also flexible, but, but sturdy. And I've got that tight, uh, all duct taped in. And it is, it is very, very, very strong. And this is going to extend all the way out here. So I'm just going to fasten this on through the handle. Okay, and then this side. There we go. And then this over here. This is my microphones. This is a uh, one faces 45 degree angle out to the my right. This one 45 degree angle out to the left. So when we have the headphones on, I can steer the canoe left or right, and we can um, we'll know how where which direction to go to follow the sound. Hey Marine. Yeah? How do you know when the lake is really, really friendly? I don't know. How do I know when the lake is really, really friendly? Because the waves are high. <laughs> oh, that's funny.
is gorgeous. Wow. Hi everyone, Maureen here. You won't believe where we are. We're out in the middle of a lake, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. It's beautiful out. See the moon? 
It's like a three-quarter moon. It's lighting up the lake. You can hear the crickets. And Glenn is here too. He's paddling the canoe. Welcome to our channel. Tonight we're out in a boat on the lake. This is the lake that we do a lot of our nature recordings on. It's really nice how it's beautiful out tonight. It's all starry, uh, three-quarter moon. It's really nice. Trees are silhouetted against the, the blue skies. They're very nice.
Charles. It's about quarter after five, I think. It's just a great night. Recorded all kinds of wilderness sounds. And hope you guys enjoyed that. So peaceful paddling on lakes at night. I'm familiar with this lake, so I know where the hazards are and what areas uh, I could safely paddle and not worry about deadheads and rocks and all that kind of stuff.
Good, Good morning. There she is. She woke up. <laughs> Canoe head. Let's get a move on here. A beautiful sunrise. So we have the we have the moon is still up and the uh, sun is about to rise in a bit. Hey, Maureen. Yeah? What washes up on really tiny beaches? I don't know what washes up on really, really tiny beaches. Microwaves. Microwaves. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. That's funny.
So we've just witnessed three more loons coming to this uh, little lake. And uh, the juvenile loons, basically they round up around this time of year. And uh, the, the male adults as well. And uh, if the juveniles are fit enough to get off the lake, then, then they'll, they'll round up with other male loons. Anyway, it's nice to hear them calling and doing their thing and rounding up. Coffee's almost ready. Oh, we bared the shirt, and uh, I don't know, I estimate it's probably around 8 a.m., and uh, got our coffee on the go. And take a bit of a break on the water here and stretch the legs and all that stuff and uh, it's warm enough out now for a t-shirt. Just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous day, not a cloud in the sky. High pressure system, yeah, just enjoying this time of year. Let's get coffee. They get a real suntan today. So, guess what we got on the agenda today, Maureen? What do we have on the agenda today? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. I can go for that. Yeah. Well, if you enjoy videos in the great outdoors, why not check out this video here? And uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Thank you very much. Great to have you here. So I think we're going to enjoy the rest of this amazingly beautiful day and uh, soak up the sun and uh, do a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> so that's all for uh, this time. We shall see you next time. I'm Glenn. I'm Maureen. Over and out. Take care.